Hey peoples, it's me Tristan and this is another video where I had the chance to look at the Rubicon model. Half track or Hanomag as people call it. A uh, lot easier to assemble than the Stag. Here's the assembly guide. It had only two sprues and not a lot of options to be honest. As you can see the assembly guide was quite easy. Main options you had have in the end are just top canopy or whatever choices and some machine gun choices and that's about it. Of course they show some other future updates you can have but these don't come in the kit. The thing I really like are the medic signs. Here's the assembled kit already primed. You can see the driver place, right? But there's no drivers and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with this half uh, opened canopy and this machine gun placement. They're separate because I want to paint the insides first. Now I think I'm gonna show you how I, I go about painting these 28mm uh, model kits. So I'm gonna start out with Middlestone Yellow or Middlestone from Vallejo and I'm just gonna paint all over the tank or the vehicle and I'm trying to keep the uh, paint just a little bit wet but not too wet so it would pool anywhere so giving it a light coat and that's why grey undercoat helps really well because if I would use black primer that would mean I would have to make like two, three or even four or five coats of this paint to even, you know, make, give it a good uh, cover. So uh, I suggest grey primer when you're doing tanks. It uh, really helps getting on the lighter colors uh, without too much of a hassle. So as you can see, I'm just going to give it uh, one good... Uh, coat and that'll be it and once that's dry I am using coated arms super wash meat brown which is uh, this yellowish wash and this I will add quite uh, heavily on the wheels and underneath the wheels uh, and under the tank but anywhere on top I'm still gonna uh, wet the paintbrush before I add some. You don't want to add too much because it will flow down and make these little uh, pools. So that's why you don't want to paint too much of it. And as you see, once it's dry, it looks quite nice. The next paint I'm using is charred brown from Vallejo. Uh, you could use uh, chocolate brown, I guess, but I'm using the charred brown from the game color uh, range from Vallejo. And using this bit uh, thicker brush, I'm painting these um, almost like tree trunks or, you know, camo stripes on. Even though I don't show it on this video, but I went over the same uh, stripes a second time uh, to make sure that paint covers everything and, and to make sure that it has a good coverage. Now the second paint I'm using is a Retractive Green from Vallejo and this is a nice darker green tone that fits on here uh, quite well and I'm doing the same thing but uh, filling in the like gaps when you're painting camo on the uh, tanks with these stripes I think you should follow the same idea you follow when you're putting camo on your camo makeup on your face in the army what I mean by that is you should cover up high edges and like this strong uh, edges uh, and corners that would otherwise stick out quite well.
After painting on the camel, I usually go around and paint up the rubber wheels and other wheels and the tracks and all these little bits uh, here. And for that I found a great paint, which is uh, German grey. It's this almost black, uh, dark greyish tone. And, and then give it just a good uh, dark grey wash. So you can see that I've painted over some of the wheels as well, but it doesn't matter, it just makes them this greasy and dirty. Then I usually add decals. This one comes with uh, separate numbers, so I cut out different numbers and made it 273. You know, you can set up your own numbers, which is kind of smart because there are so many variations for a Hanomag to choose from. What it also comes with are these uh, designation signs, or I don't know how you call them in English, but basically they show in what company or a battalion your vehicle belongs to and what type of a like service it provides. This is a transport vehicle and here's a number sign. It's the only downside to these decals and it's actually it shouldn't even be an issue because what this is missing is a decal guide. On model kits they have these guides where you put those decals but Rubicon models don't have. So this is a little thing that they could improve, but it's not that big of a problem. We all have internet, we all have Google. So once I add the decals, then there's only one step to go before I can say this is finished. And this is the so-called weathering wash. I'm using Vallejo Dark Brown. I just start going over this. Uh, I don't uh, wet the brush or anything. I just take it straight from the bottle and tap it on. The first layer you want to do is the lower parts of the vehicle, like the road wheels and the lower sides of the side. It's basically just a little bit dirt. And then I add it a bit in and around the hat side hatches and the en engine hatch in the front and also those uh, front visor bits because these seem to be openable and they get a little bit wear and tear also in the inside of the crew compartment they probably get in there with their dirty boots and that's usually re uh, where the mod gets in and once that's done I'm gonna add a second layer and the Vallejo Superwash is a nice thing that it uh, dries on quite transparent so if you add a second layer it you can see through to make this uh, gradient uh, transparent uh, look to it and once it's dry it'll uh, look quite good the half track is finished it fits nicely with the infantry from warlord and once painted i think it looks a lot better i did not add a machine gun here because of uh, one of the downsides of this kit there's no crew and i know that there's possible to get a crew or like miniature so i'm gonna keep it like this and hopefully one day I'll get some plastic Germans or something and get one guy here with his machine gun. When I score these uh, tanks out of 10, uh, one of the points will be because it's a tank. Because this is not a tank, it cannot get the maximum score. Warlord Games offers uh, half tracks, even though it's a bit uh, more expensive. Uh, it's also plastic. It at least comes with the gunner and stuff. So and on their website, I think one kit shows even with four men sitting. So that's a definite uh, minus on the Rubicon model side. So my little German force is uh, growing. Half track will get six tanks out of ten. It's a good solid score. Definitely, I like the hard plastic and everything. But unfortunately, no crew. There's no uh, stowage or anything. So it's it's quite simple. Anywho, uh, thank you for watching. Keep it safe and I will talk to you in the next one.